Hey Legionnaires, welcome back. We're here with another part of our Republic of Venice campaign for 1212 AD and this is part 6 of the campaign and oh boy have we been busy in our first few parts. If you haven't checked those out, I do recommend you go and do so. But uh, I'll give you a quick download on what has happened if you've missed any of the parts and you don't want to go back and watch. So we started our wars with the kingdom of Croatia over here. We managed to secure Split, make it a nice bastion for us to now work our way down the coast of the Adriatic. I didn't really plan to take Epirus, but they declared war on me and they made it very easy for me to take their city. So I did and it saved uh, an issue for the Latin Empire who are desperately trying to hold on against Nicaea and Bulgaria who are kind of sandwiching them in right now. Um, I've taken uh, Rhodes as well from Nicaea to try and, and add another island base to our uh, growing empire. We have now have Rhodes, Crete, and Sicily. We defeated the Holy Roman Empire to take Sicily and Southern Italy, um, who, which is technically like the Kingdom of Sicily. Um, but yeah, we take them in Southern Italy, and our aim is really to obviously form the Kingdom of uh, Italy. Someone was saying, should we be the Republic of Italy since we are the Republic of Venice? Probably true, to be honest, um, but we will be known as the Kingdom of Italy, I imagine. I don't think it'll change the name because we're just a Republic. Um, I am probably going to start now thinking about turning our armies around. Um, I'm going to probably just try and pacify Rhodes a little bit, so I might keep the Doge out here just for a little moment longer. Um, and whether I'll actually send them north to go and deal with Nicaea, maybe just raise their settlements or uh, sack them, I'm not sure. I might do that just to keep him sort of uh, popular and uh, his Imperium high. While we're doing that, we'll have our adopted son, who uh, people are kind of saying we should get rid of. Uh, Marino here, get rid of him. Um, I might send him off on a suicide mission once we have an heir, of course. Um, currently, our daughters are coming of age, but yeah, I still haven't got a male heir at the moment, so that's a problem. So Marino here is on a is on a mission. He's got to make himself a few heirs. Um, he's got a wife. We have also got ourselves a younger wife to try and uh, do exactly that as well. We have another commander down here raising up an army. I'm also building a siege works. We've built a siege engineers, in fact, so we're going to build a catapult. And we're going to then start our wars against the other Italian states. I probably will go for uh, Bologna first, because I think we uh, have the least amount of ties with them. And they look, also le like me the least. Uh, they're deteriorating as we speak. Yeah, we only people. have trade with uh, them when it comes to, uh, like, agreement. So we can get rid of that. And we can go in against them and we'll do that and we'll work our way through all the Italian states. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the turn. I don't think we've got anything else we want to buy or build. Um, not really particularly. I mean, I could, I guess, buy some of these guys, but not really that bothered. Uh, we have some unassigned skills, though, first to do. Uh, this guy's a governor. Okay, let's do tax assessor because that'll help with money coming in. None of those. And then none of those. And then you can have... Uh, commander and then also go with Zealot. There we go. Help Candia stay nice and happy. So there we go. We'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. But yes, I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play. If you are, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and a comment shows for it. As always, guys, it very much helps out the channel. And it looks like the uh, Holy Roman Empire are going to come for round two. Which is no surprise there, to be honest. Just going to keep besieging our place. What good thing that we didn't um, repair those buildings because I'm pretty sure I was pretty sure that they were going to do that. Uh, the Latins also do have a big stack at sea. They need to get that onto land because Constantinople is being raided right now by the uh, Nicaeans. I'm a little worried that uh, the Nicaeans are going to take back Constantinople, form the Byzantine Empire. If they do, I will have to go back in and take, uh, take Constantinople for myself. Austria and Hungary at war, that's fine by me. Uh, Syracuse is being besieged again, just delaying the production of my crossbows here. It's a bit rude. Uh, and again, we'll see them off. But again, I, it's just annoying them doing that. Uh, office secured. Mar Mariano has got his, uh, his office. And there you go. There we ended the uh, the investment pretty quickly. Right. Uh, if Epirus... Eh, it's not really in great shape to share. It's also very much orthodox. Um, and it's rising in orthodoxy as well. We are building a church to try and change that. Uh, so we'll try and uh, turn that around. Let's convert this to a um, a fort. And then what's the food status like here? It's 20%. It's going plus one currently. I think we're going to uh, rip this down actually, Rose, and put it in a, in a uh, church here to try and again help with getting the faith uh, to uh, to one side, which is the Catholic side. We could put more cav in here, but I don't really need it. Candia. Uh, let's upgrade this. Let's put in... 
I will put in a, I mean, I would like to put in another field, but I don't really feel like that's the right choice at the moment. We actually can't really build anything of I'd like here. Um, um, we need to increase slots. I, I thought I did this, but maybe not. Maybe we just need to increase slots and build something immediately to go in. I really don't know. I thought I did this off camera and it's unsaved, so I thought it would just stay like that, but apparently not. I don't know really if the increased slots thing works or not, but uh, I might put a piazza or sugarcane fields actually. We should probably put in because then we actually kind of, you know, build up our wealth. It's going to do damage to squalor and public order, which is the only problem. Squalor it's not great. We could all, always upgrade public order um, and, uh, and also help our sanitation as well. So they are things we can work around. Ready for battle. Hmm. If I take out the army Ready from Durachium. How bad's it gonna be? Minus 18, yeah, definitely not sustainable. Uh, so we're gonna need a couple more turns on that. We might just have to have a few turns of rebuilding, whether we'll actually get anything done. Authority, and um, let's stick in another, like, so you get plus two authority there. Uh, and then we'll also go down. Um, we could do research, right, actually. No, I think we'll do authority in that, uh, and zeal. Again, just gonna try and keep split happy. And we'll end the turn. And we'll see if we get anything happening in this end turn. I don't know. Like I said, I think this could be a bit of a rebuild, this one. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, the Let's Play. Uh, it's something a little bit different. Something a little bit more chilled out. Oh my gosh, is he seriously going to keep coming? I might have to just build some mercenaries. Because it just seems like this is going to be a constant problem. Like he's just going to keep on sallying out. And I see a... Oh, it's not sallying out, sorry. He's going to keep on besieging me. And I'm going to have to keep trying to sally out. Nicaea um, also looks like they're getting slightly closer to Constantinople. Edging closer. Oh, the papacy wants to trade. All. And they Let offer money. Go. Yeah, go on then, papacy. I mean, I do plan to take out the Pope. I might make that like the finale like to do. Uh, apparently, it's not the end of the world if you do it. But I heard quite the opposite. Commune of Milan, we can now see. Can we not see them before? Welcome, worthy guest. Uh, we could I offer a daughter. Um, the honor of your people in our okay, I didn't actually really want to do a non-aggression pact, but I guess we could. Um, I don't really want to want offer any of the Italians my daughter. Let's see if we can get... Welcome, welcome, my friend. Offer her to... Uh, yes, to offer her... Who should be marrying? The, the king, Enrique. Yeah, absolutely. Demand some money off them. It's a dowry. Maybe not that much. Uh, but clearly, looks like Castile are the powerhouse at the moment. There you go. An extra 1,300. We're getting our daughter married off, and now she's married off to Enrique. Whether that's a good idea. We have clearly have good ties with the Kingdom of Castile with Mariano, also married to a Castilian. Um, yeah, we could really do with uh, someone getting pregnant right about now. That would be handy. Um, because we have no, no male heirs. All right, so we have done uh, Medican orders. We're now going to do scholasticism, so it gives us a physician, uh, like, Level 2 sanitation, which is what we need. Commander. And again. Alright, can we get Mercs here? We can. And we can actually get a Cav one. I could get Genoese crossbows as well, but they're expensive. Um, his army is just starving out. I could Ready just let him orders. siege me. Because um, he's just starving every time. He's getting weaker and weaker. Hmm. It's potential. We could maybe do that. Siege Engineers could be upgraded again. Ooh, and it would get trebuchets. I'd like to do that, but not yet. It's not my primary concern. We've got a lot of things we've got to build first. Like, in roads, we've got to build ourselves a church. In Candia, we have to build ourselves some sugarcane fields. There you go. We've got a bit of money left as well. We could build something else. Durachium could build a bigger... Uh, I think I am going to put a Catholic Priory because I want to keep... Uh, the influence of Christianity going up, so yeah, Catholic, uh, sorry, of Catholicism going up, yeah. So as you can see, it's rising now. Orthodoxy is going down. Good. That's what we need, and we need that to keep going in that direction. Plus two here in Venice. Very, very nice. We are at six growth. So once we get to like I don't know ten or eleven, I might just pop that. See what happens. Same with uh, splits as well. I'd like to try and just make some absolutely massive cities here. We hunger for battle. Uh, right, we'll see. I don't think we can do anything else, really. I don't think we can hire any more mercs. We spent all cash. But the cav, anyway, I was going to buy anyway. These are basically the same price as my own cavalry, I believe. Um, yeah, 366. They're the same price as my own cav. And they're pretty much 
just as good, actually. I think they're basically the same stats. So that's fine. Um, and it kind of goes, you know, with the Venetian style. We buy mercenaries in because we're just a rich republic. So we rely on mercenaries to field our armies. Back he comes. This is just going to be a constant problem. I might just have to attack him. Just have to, like... Um, or we could actually move our troops outside the city. See if he'll uh, come down and attack the army. He wants peace. No. I can't go to peace with you, Nicaea. Not while you're still at war with the Latins. If you make peace with the Latins, I will consider it. Looks like the, uh, Jerusalem had been out traveling also a long, long way from their shores. Uh, which is, if, only, if anything, is only going to invite the... Uh, the uh, Ubids to come and attack them, but it's clearly it's not happening. The Turks also suddenly lose some territory. Uh, they really want us to build a building from the religious chamber. Lucky for them, I'm doing it. I'm building a Catholic priory. Right, so this is the final time I'm going to do this. Right, we're going to do something a bit different this time. I'm going to get rid of those crossbows. We're going to put you outside the city. We're going to put in our crossbows. It's going to mean we're going to cost us two turns to build, but he might just not attack us. We might attack the city and just besiege it. If so, it means I can just build these guys peacefully. And I just want to build the army up. That's all I want to do. Faction destroy Portugal's gone. What does that mean? Uh, she is still from the following faction, the Kingdom of Portugal. She has no... Uh, no kingdom anymore. Her family are dead. Right. Uh, I don't really want to repair those because, like I said, I think they're just going to keep on damaging them. Right. Um, we're just building stuff here. We have six grand, so we have a lot of money to spend. Here at Chiam. We Again, we could put in the silver mine. It's going to do some damage to corruption and other stuff like that. Split. Also need some stuff. We're doing good for everything, like food-wise. I don't really need to upgrade the wheat farm. I could save the money. Potential. Like, Split is currently... It's stable, but it's not happy. Put it like that. Oh, Naples. Ah, oh, we need to build something here. We need to build a trade. Trading dock. And then Apulia, we could build something here. Um, we could put in a Leprosium. Help with that sanitation. Always good idea. And I think we'll end the turn. There you go. That was a very productive turn. Right, let's see whether the Holy Roman Empire do anything. We are kind of flying through these turns at the moment. I'll see if we can get ourselves a battle. Um, if we can recruit those crossbows... We should. Maybe he'll come out and attack the army. He didn't. Aha! Okay, right. So we will wait patiently. We'll let him siege down Syracuse. Syracuse should be able to hold for about, I don't know, seven or eight turns. So it gives us time to build up a bit of an army. Oh, and the Latins beat the Nicaeans in battle. Ah, good. That changed the balance power there. Also looks like the Latins are raiding the Bulgarians. So that's fair enough. But yes, we should then hopefully be able to, once our uh, army in uh, Sicily has been freed up, we should be able to use it to maybe march up to Bologna. Mission succeeded. Um, oh yeah, we were already were building uh, a church over here. I totally forgot about this. Is this one? Is that seriously? Mission succeeded. I don't even think I've done it yet, have I? Buildings constructed, Leprosium. Unless that's counted in the chain. I've not actually built it yet. I've just been I'm currently building uh, sugar cane plantations. We could do it. It's a lot of money to just invest into one thing. Uh, let's see whether we can... Ready for battle. Oh no, these are technically also still timed out because territory's being sieged. Oh, I never knew that. Um, we could just hire some mercenaries. I might just then get rid of them immediately. Let's see if we can challenge him. Right. Now he's been forced to go that way. And we should get support from Regio, I think. Yeah, we'll get support from Regio here. There you go. Stabbed in the chest. Dealt with. Once and for all. Um, we'll take on Warriors. But it's really going to matter because I'm going to get rid of these crossbows. Because they're super expensive for crossbows. Uh, I'll keep the foot uh, mercenary Beraveri, I think. Because they're the same price as these other swords I have. And they're basically the same, I think. 
Yeah, and four of them is never a bad thing. Uh, I don't know why we are looking at the world in that direction, but that's really going to throw annoy me. What can we build here? Basically, same stuff. So we'll get those crossbows again, and we'll get the catapult ro uh, going as well, I think. Yeah, we can't build anymore. Okay, that's what we'll do. We'll start building here then in Regio. Apart from the cav, which I'd like to buy more of in uh, like our territory yet. Like in Syracuse, which is currently just... There you go, look at that. We'll just... I'll spend the money and repair everything. Which means we can't build anything in Candia, like the uh, sugarcane thing, but that's fine. Uh, what do we want? Zeal? I don't think any of these really do any bonuses for us anymore. We'll preach intolerance. And we'll... I don't know. Up is cunning, maybe? I don't know, we'll do that. We don't need to buy a new priest, I'm pretty sure, soon. This guy must be pretty old, I'd imagine. Old 50, yeah. I might get a second priest on the go if we can. Um, where can we build them? We can't afford one, but when we can, I will build a new priest. Uh, let's go with public order, and then also wealth. From agricultural buildings, I think. Yeah, that's fine. We're making, we've are making. we got agricultural buildings there, so that's awesome. Right. We want to stack up those buffs, really. Maybe we'll just build agricultural buildings there and put the agricultural man in charge. Let's see. Nothing happening in this turn. Interesting. Nothing at all. Is someone else a Hurin? Oh, is Bologna now the Hurin Emperor? Is that what I saw there? Because obviously the Hurin Emperor will be dead. Ah, is that the wrong one? I think that is what was I see. Yeah, the Bologna is now the Hurin Empire. They're allied with Milan. Ah, so we will go straight to war with Milan if we bring in Welcome. these guys. And they have two territories. Where the heck is your other territory? Oh, it's going to be over here somewhere, isn't it? It's going to be up here. Uh, or not. Do they have two? No, that is just one territory there. Oh, no, it is. Frankfurt here. Yeah, they own part of Germany. I am not going up there to fight you for that, Bologna. Um, we'll just let you keep that. And we'll make peace. Right, we have a bunch of money. We are making a lot now. Seven grand. I say a lot. It's probably someone's like, ah, it's nothing. It's pennies. It's quite a lot, though. It's more than we've been making recently. And we're pumping out these things. I could go... For candy is sugar cane, but I'm going to go down here. Town barracks. I think I'm going to go for this for public order. Uh, it's going to mean damage to our food, but I'm kind of all for it. Let's put it in the Catholic Priory as well. Again, it's going to do damage to tax, but um, we need the... Well, we actually get sanitation from it as well, which is great. Uh, we get a bit of food, which, you know, helps. And also, it helps with converting this place to Catholicism, which it is doing slowly as well, which is great. Uh, Dirichium also going in that direction. We're now at 20%. Great. Keep that up. And this army is pretty good to go, really. Uh, can we buy any more cab? Uh, we can, but not the one I want, so I don't really want these guys. Uh, Regio, we could upgrade that as well, actually, so that'd be great. Yeah, we are growing these promises nicely. Let us put in... Uh, I don't really ideally want... I mean, the Laprosium I'd like, but I think I'm going to save for a Piazza, actually, because I'd like to put in something like a... I don't know, a Fairground or something like that there, maybe. Um, Yeah. Because then you can go down, like, Library. What's Public Order? Consumption? Yeah, or, like, the Carnival Grounds, actually, I think would be a one I'd like to go down. Carnival Grounds, that one. Uh, so I'll save that, actually, for a Piazza, so I should have maybe just popped that. I don't think it'll turn to Squalor in one turn, Ready but you never know. Uh, yeah, one more turn on all of those. There's no real... Maybe the spears I'd take. Yeah, I actually might take those spears. Uh, they're medium spears, and they're pretty decent price, 163, and I don't think I can easily get more of those on, like, the mainland of Italy at the moment. My uh, recruitment is not great. Maybe here in the castle? 
the Lanciari Codadini, but I don't know if they're mediums or if they're actually, if they're, um, uh, no, they might actually not be. They might be lights. We'll end the turn anyway. We'll save the rest of our money for the, um, on the uh, Piazza. Let's see whether they, uh, see whether anything happens. Now that Bologna is the, uh, Holy Roman Empire, it just clearly is meant to be that we're supposed to go to war with them next, because we've got beef with the Holy Roman Emperor, whoever he is. More Serpents and Campania, look at this, we're just growing like mad. We're like rabbits, spreading, uh, spreading our seed. Growing. Right, let's see if anything else we can build here. Blacksmith? Uh, I don't really care about like the cost of my recruitment. It's not that expensive. I feel like that's a very terrible buff, really. And then after that, well, after that, it kind of improves your infantry, which is pretty handy, but it also requires you to have iron, which uh, I don't think I have anywhere near me. Um, I think I will go with the Leprosium, actually, here, because it's our last slot at the moment until I do the old increased slots, which I'm still not sure if that's going to work. But we'll see, I'm just a bit worried that I'm going to end up spending money and wasting it. Uh, we still have four grand. Not quite enough to upgrade that. And why are you losing integrity? Politics and faction. All right. We need to send you on a mission somewhere, sir. Commander. How bad is it going to be if I send you out of roads? Minus 11 ish. Uh, that is still because of religious differences. Instability, which will go. Taxes. Just got to deal with your taxes, man. Uh, food is also a little bit of an issue. And that's actually going to get worse, but we'll put in a food thing that there, there next just to kind of help that out. Um, but yeah, okay, right. Not much I can do about your taxes. I am bringing down your tax rate, though. If anything, you should be loving that. Because I'm going to put in a priory for you. 33, 36% uh, is good. That's still not gone up that much. I was expecting them to maybe uh, fly up. Apparently not. Right. Uh, you're still building. Ah, we've got all of our recruitment here done. Great. We have lost a bunch of money because of uh, costs, but that is fine. It's what you need. Sometimes it happens. Um, yeah, one more turn for the catapult. And ideally, I would like to just build my cavalry and stuff like that now. Hmm. We take out this army from Dirichi, and we could just put in a small one to garrison the area. Minus 14. And that's mainly because of religious differences, which aren't going up quickly enough. Minus 6. Taxes still being a problem as well. Well, I can't do much about that. I don't think their taxes are any higher than... Um... Oh, it just... I can either tax them or not tax them. That's another thing that, like, from, uh, like, my list of things that I would Ready like to see orders. change from, uh, like, generally just from, Attila, like, I kept from Attila, or I kept from Rome to put into Attila. It's like, you could change the tax rate or how much people are being taxed. Um, can we just go this way and just land? I swear we can just go into Taranto. We'll do that. And then I think I'm just going to put in... Uh, a small army. Maybe like this guy here. Just to raise an army. Just the just conquerors. You can have a small army here of... Yeah, these Lanciari Codatini are not good at all. Uh, but that's what's going in. You can have three of them. Just to garrison there. And Dirichim. Kind of keep them uh, under... Under sort of some sort of control. And they'll have this army get ready. And they can start to march up on Bologna. Okay, well, you can zip along. Right. We are going to make some more money in a bit from the trading docks coming in, but we are going to lose a bit from the Leprosiums being put in as well, and also the Catapult, which is pretty expensive to have, actually. We could actually just have this army to start with as a support army, actually, for the uh, for the main army here, so we actually might do that. Um, we'll also upgrade Alberto here. You can have uh, Inspired Leader, and you also have Thinker, which also just helps with maintenance of the, of the problems he has. So that's pretty good. 
and then we'll end the turn. Lovely stuff. And we'll see whether anything happens. This might be the last turn, but it might be the turn that we go to war again with the Holy Roman Empire and we get some stuff done. It has been very much a turtling turn, just sort of, you know, solidifying the area. I feel like in 12.12 and like in DEI, like campaigns, if you go like really aggressive really early on uh, and like overextend, it can be quite hard to maintain some of your provinces, especially if they're not the same faith as you. They're like Catholic and you're Orthodox or vice versa, which is kind of what the problem I'm having with in the East. I got some... Oh, noble births! Oh my gosh, we've had children. Okay. Oh, both both daughters. Okay, Anna Borgia and then also uh, Lima Hortbill. Okay, well, good on you guys having children, but <laughs> not the... We need some boys. We need some boys. Uh, and... Oh, okay, they're at war. Uh, AEQ are at war with Principality. Okay, and Nicaea and the Latins have made peace. Aha! I will make peace with you now if you want peace. Do not waste time on pleasantries and babble. And trade? Just oh yeah, we can stick everything in. Let's do it. I'll done demand some cash off you. Oh, this is still high. Oh, we can bankrupt you, son. Uh, let's put a little bit more. See if you'll take that. Oh, that's low. Okay. I would be taking the mic apparently. No, 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 no. no. Trade in that as well, and you got yourself a deal, son. We are all about the trade. So that's all we're here for. Right. Brilliant. Now we just have Bulgaria. Be welcome. Which we I could Oh, they still don't want to trade my... with us. But they're still at war with the Latins, but that, you know, that helps out because the Latins now just one front to worry about, which is Be just welcome. that one in front of them. Let us talk and then enjoy good Rome. Okay, for less than I can love us. Trevor's on, I don't think we can trade. Oh, you on behalf of the people. Can't trade with you. Your... Okay, that's fine. You apparently don't have a No, they don't. I guess they look oh. Is Kaffa not technically a a sea tile? Maybe not. Okay. Apparently we can't trade with you because either we can't see Kaffa or it's not a sea tile. I can't remember from when I did my Trebizond campaign Commander. whether it was or not. Um, Right. I think next turn we will declare war on Bologna. I'll get the right hands to attack maybe? No, I, I guess we'll have to do it the other way around. Oh, uh, we have a lot of castles over here, actually. Don't know if I'm going to need all these castles. Um, anything else we want to build? I guess we have 10 grand. Ah, uh, yeah, we wanna, we've want we been saying we wanted to build the old sugar cane plantation for a little while. Uh, militia quarters does help with um, this as well. Does bring down food. Maintenance goes up. Doesn't mean that we could probably free up the doge soon. Which I would like to do, because his integrity is getting lower, and he's also not, you know... He's not doing stuff. He's not doing stuff. But plus 13, we're good in there. Minus 6. Hmm, okay. What's the faith looking like? Oh, it's going up, but not much. 36. Pretty sure. Actually, I don't even know that's gone up. I'm trying to remember what the number was before 23. It's gone up a little bit. It was 21, I think, the last turn. It's going to be like 6 trillion turns until we get there. Uh, to like even close to 100%. So going east is not really ideally what I want to do. Um... I bet that's the pro- Oh, yeah, the Bulgarians are besieging down Constantinople. Good time to make peace with the Latins. Uh, sorry, the Nicaeans. Uh, I think the Nicaeans, though, are still at war with Trebizond. I mean, they gained something. They got a, uh, a territory from it, so this is a good win. They did lose a vassal, I think. I don't think Thessalonica's a vassal of theirs anymore. Can we get any mercs for you? Commander. Still the same ones. We could get these spears again, so I'll do it. We'll get another spear in the army. There we go. March on. Uh, we've got our small garrison here we as well. I don't think I'm going to be changing that at all. Keep Dirichium sort of under wraps. It's minus six. Um, uh, buildings are affecting it. Growth is coming in, though. We might be able to upgrade this. We might be able to get another uh, Catholic monastery going. It's going to keep damaging the old taxes by doing that. So we're going to have to tax people elsewhere. Uh, like here. Bureaucrat. Tax them. Tax them in Naples. We've got to make the money somewhere. Alright, and we'll end this turn. I think this will be the final turn. I think we are about up to 30 minutes now. And I'll wrap it up by attacking... 
the old uh, Hillary Empire. Though I don't think we'll take it this turn. We'll just leave it uh, for next turn. That joy. I come to ask. Uh, this. You want us to join war Please against stand with the Bulgarians? Us and show courage and honor. I will do it in a few turns. I'll come back to you and accept that offer once. Uh, once we're in a better position to actually contribute, because though we could defend Durachium, which uh, with our small little garrison, probably, I don't think we could make any offensive, and that's ideally what I'd like to do. You have brought this on oh. yourselves. Your people right, they've done this before already, of Savoy. They've already declared war on me once, just because I'm not at war with anyone else. I think that's what the AI does. It just wants you to be at war with someone. Um, I'm going to see if I can make peace with them almost instantly. Because it just makes... No sense why we're at war. Yeah, look at this. I swear this is just a bug or something that the AI just goes, yeah, we just can't have you at peace. Like, come on, man. We find yeah, you fine. 300, whatever. I got some money out of you. I'm going to war anyway. Give me a second. I'm just going to go to war with Bologna. I'm going to bring in the commune of Milan. It's going to cost us in the old trade, but we're going to make up for it somewhere else. Uh, let's not do ladders. Let's do towers, please. Bologna's army, I uh, presume, is in and Germany. And there you go. We're going to then just stand there with the right hands. We actually probably could have attacked with them. Um, and there we go. Yeah, we will easily take that. I would, that is an easy aura resolve we next turn. So we will take Bologna, and then we need to actually kind of skip through Verona. So I might ask for military access. And which they won't give, so I will probably just have to just take it. <laughs> just Well, not take Barone, Verona, but just walk on through. Like, they aren't even there. Let's put a bigger Catholic monastery in. I do kind of like to put the silver deposit. I would like to build that up. Um, that is basically all of our money gone again. Plus 14, though. It's getting a bit better here. Minus 5. Hmm. Oh, we were going to build another... Priest. That's what we were going to do. We had the money. Right. Uh, priest. Don't think it really matters which one we go for. I'm going to go with just this guy here. Just Raniero Gozanga. And then you just need to get over here, sir. That's going to take your time. Uh, for now, let's put in... I don't really know if we want any of these. Well, I guess Cav. Uh, range looking good. I guess we could get better... Just some more swords maybe on the go. Uh, right, we'll put... Go back into there. Just Get build up it. some... Adachini. Why not? We have a bit of cash. We'll do that. Build up the Doge's army a little bit more. While we wait on the priest to come across. And he can then stabilize the province a little better. But there you go, guys. I think that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode. If you did enjoy, then do remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here to come and show your support. Feel free to join my Discord as well. If you'd like to get involved in any Total War action. Like scenarios or streams. And yeah... We'll see you guys in the next episode when the Holy Roman Empire will be losing its capital. The new Holy Roman Empire, I should say. But until then, guys, bye for now.